These things just kind of like appeared in my life. My brother bring these turntables home, and this huge record collection just like shows up at my house. So like, do something with it. That's just like what my life is now. It's just music. Special guest DJ, my man L. Dusty. This guy has traveled the world and he's here tonight performing live at our summer jam. We'll see you there, Concrete Street. Dusty was invited to clubs when he was a little kid. Whenever you have a 16 year old DJing in your club, that's pretty different, you know? But he was that good that early on. My life kind of took a turn. I was seeing my brother come up, you know, he was in trouble sometimes. He had a little gang stint and stuff like that. And, and being really comfortable with that, it wasn't, probably wasn't a very good thing. Dusty's brother stole some turntables from the Quinceanera and brought them back home. I helped him figure it all out. You know, we had the Mexican blanket down, everything, all the stuff on top of the turntables. It was real nice and then I, he, he's leaving, he's like, all right, don't touch it. And he like closes the door behind him and I'm like, dude, go on, man, you can't do this. So the first thing naturally that I did was go into his room and practice. You never know what you're gonna find in here. An uncle of mine had passed away and they gave my mom this like huge record collection, probably like, I don't know, like 70,000 records or some crazy, like a whole warehouse full. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? Are we getting like this dude's stuff or what? And they were like, oh, it's all records. Like, oh, <laughs> all right, well, that should be fun. I started finding all the songs that were like people were sampling, you know? I found this one sample and I was like, man, this is dope. And then I looked at it and he had already like circled it. And I was like, oh, he knew. <laughs> it's been like a daily thing every day. Just kind of like, here they are, let's find another song. Let's find a sample, let's do this. Culture is very important to me. I, I, I love to have the, the like my Latin roots in the sound. The way I make music is I'm inspired by what they were jamming to back in the day. You know, I get to hear these old guys jamming to, on all these things, and that kind of pumps me up to find this like killer sample that nobody's ever used. And it has this like texture and color that like you can't really get from anywhere else but an old record. You hear something like Selena and it was a little bit more fresh. She kind of opened the door for like these like Hispanics that don't necessarily speak Spanish to like listen to cumbia and kind of go back and reference these old styles and remake it. Corpus Christi is known for Selena. She's the one that brought cumbia to Corpus Christi. El Dusty knows how to grab different types of cumbia and mix them with trap and everything else that is just not put together right now. He's inventing something new. Cumbia and like, let's say like house music are super similar. In Texas, it kind of gets this electronic twist. And it's always kind of been like that here. Because when, when it got popular, it was like drum machines and stuff like that were in the picture. So it's like naturally like a house rhythm. You know, it's like a house beat and then you put your cumbia on top. And, and that's how we make our tracks around here. <laughs> <laughs> a song called Canto Negro from uh, Andres Andero. He's an old cumbia pioneer, like most sampled like cumbia dude out there right now. So. Right now I'm, 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 I'm quantizing the song. So like back in the day, they didn't really play to like a click track or like a metronome or anything. So the, the songs are always like swinging around, you know, that's why like the older recordings sound more groovy and it's kind of more live. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do is like lock it into the grid. Now, now that I have the actual loop of what I want to use, um, you can hear how it like lands on the beat. That'll be sort of like the main lead of the whole song is that little loop right there. Then it all starts to make sense a little. My dad was in a car accident when I was like four and he was paralyzed from the from the neck down. So kind of seeing my mom going through that struggle of like, you know, living two lives for somebody. It was really inspiring to me. It's like, dude, you have nothing to complain about. You know, like you can walk around, you can make music, you can do whatever you want to do, you know? 
My dream is to be able to provide and educate and facilitate artists and have a place where people can go and make their artwork. We have these after-school programs that we do for kids, Turntable Academy, Chica's Rock. It's just something that we didn't have coming up, you know? We didn't have like a place to go and learn how to play music. We didn't have a place to go to practice, you know, being a DJ or, or even like seeing that stuff was just kind of like foreign to us, you know? So we, we started these things so that way these kids could experience that at an early age. This is basically my life. I've been here since I was like eight and I'm 14 now, so it's had a big part of my life. I can't imagine leaving it. Some of the girls, when they start, like, they're really shy. And then the girls grow to be, like, part of their school band, and then that makes us happy, because if we can make a difference in one of them, you know, it's, that's a big thing for us. Yeah, my album's gonna come out in October. It's called Made in Corpus, kind of like an homage to the city. So a lot of my samples are on this album. A lot of the stuff in the record collection, you know, are on here. You know, Dusty is definitely one of those people that have stuck to his roots. Uh, he's really bringing out the Latino culture into something a little bit more progressive. It's really important for me to show where I'm from and, and put the cumbia out there because it's a lot of Mexico, but it's also a lot of the U.S. I want to show that and I want that to like represent where I'm from. I want people to hear it and be like, oh, that's from Corpus. And the sound to be really familiar. You're going to see it and know that that's, that's dusty or that's, that's Corpus stuff. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at whoisuncharted.com 